Hello to you. Mark Hall here with the weekly Fine Wine Investment Market Update. Today, Thursday, the 27th of June, 2013. Well, what's been happening in the market this week? Well, as is normal in the period following an on premier campaign, the market's been fairly quiet as both buyers and sellers are looking for direction. Um, as we mentioned last week, trading volumes and trading values, well, they're slowly climbing, although the first growth market remains stagnant. Now, this of course has a lot to do with Chinese buyers who have long moved on from their love affair with the first growth, which of course pushed the wine prices through the roof. And they're now buying from other sectors of the market as we've previously reported. Another geographical market that's being much talked about currently, certainly by some in the industry, is India. Now, this market's been on the back burner for some years now for a very simple reason, and that is the astronomical level of import duty charged on the wine over there. Uh, that currently stands at around about 150%. Now, the region ticks all the usual boxes required as a potential emerging market, but this level of duty, well, it makes India a complete no-go with regards to the fine wine market. Uh, there was a small glimmer of hope this week when India's Commerce and Industry Minister suggested to the EU Trade Commissioner uh, that the country was prepared to slash duty levels to 40%. Now that's around about half the level which had been proposed previously. Uh, if this does actually go ahead, um, well, 40% import duty. Is that still going to be too high or will it ignite serious buying from the market? Well, our message to you as an investor in fine wine is very simple. And it's this well don't hold your breath uh, rumors of this concession emerged over a year ago and still nothing has happened moreover these proposals have been met with what's been described as fierce opposition from the country's own wine producers uh, now that can be expected uh, the domestic industry is very important to the Indian economy and it's expected to grow by 30 to 40 percent annually for the next six years uh, while the country currently imports just 72,000 cases of wine each year so if you're being told that the Indian market is about to take off, well, our advice to you is that it's not going to happen anytime soon. And so just don't believe the hype. Now, as always, if you'd like to buy and sell wine at in three prices direct from LiveX with our unique trading platform, well, just get in touch. Our details are on the screen. Okay, so that's it for this week. And I look forward to seeing you next Thursday.